Hi, my name is Sean Salsa, founder of Purpose Creates Impact, host of the Teenage Impact Podcast, where you will find the inspiration to get over your struggles as a teenage kid. I was bullied, had anxiety, depression, had friends pass away, and battled confidence issues for a majority of my life. Whether you have the same issues as me, feel lonely, face challenges in your home or in school, I'm going to be interviewing people who overcame these struggles and provide you with tips on how you can overcome yours. By the end of this episode, I want you to rate and comment on what you think of the podcast. This will allow the podcast to be ranked higher and serve more teenagers. Welcome to your fifth episode of the Teenage Impact Podcast. This is your host, Shlomo Salson, also founder and president of Purpose Creates Impact. The past four episodes, I went over my past. I went over my experience with anxiety. I went over my experience with bullying, how I was self-conscious on how I spoke. But this episode, I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people don't know about me on how I used to be shy and awkward as a kid. Back in January, I was at this conference and I was with a group of people and they were all talking about how I was the life of the party, how I was this extrovert that always loved to socialize and was easygoing. I laughed to myself and I laughed at the group because they don't know what I've been through. I wasn't always this I guess, quote unquote, extroverted person. I still consider myself an introvert and I like being alone sometimes. But when I'm around people now, I like to socialize with them. Before wasn't the case. I was always known as this quiet and shy, awkward kid. Don't really know where it derived from in the beginning. But I do remember when I was at home, I was always quiet when we had guests coming over. I enjoyed the presence of the guests, but I didn't really interact with them. The extent of the conversation would be like, hi, how are you doing today? Good. I'm very good. What's new? That would be the extent of the conversation. I felt really awkward in those situations because when I saw other people socializing and actually having a good time, I wanted to know what was the difference between them and me? When we had guests coming over, especially family from Israel that would come visit our household, I remember my grandfather always telling my mom, Shlom was a well-behaved kid. When my parents went to parent-teacher conference, they would always tell my parents, Shlomo is a well-behaved kid. I wish I could duplicate hundreds and hundreds of Shlomo in my classroom. And I had that engraved in my head that I was this well-behaved kid and people who talked a lot were misbehaved and I wanted to be the behaved one so I decided to be quiet all the time because if I was quiet all the time I could get in trouble and that's what I decided to do and I started moving um, through the years and in fourth grade I clearly remember this we were trying to get into groups we had to split into groups of I don't know five or six and I was left with no partners And in my head, I thought no one wanted to be my partner. And because I was left with no partner, the teacher had assigned me a partner. And from then on, I thought that no one is going to be my partner, that no one ever wants to be my partner. And this kind of has to do with me always being picked last in sports. I didn't take initiative to go ahead and try to talk to other people, especially in my early days in school. And the early days of sixth and seventh grade and the early days of ninth grade and 10th grade, I remember lunchtime, while lunchtime was the most favorite for a lot of people, lunchtime was my least favorite. Why? Because it was a time where everyone else was interacting with their friends, sitting with other people, having conversation, and myself was sitting alone, eating lunch alone, doing everything alone, watching other people have a good time, while I 
dreaded those 45 minutes, 50 minutes of just eating by myself. That took a huge toll on me because I thought there was something wrong with me. I started to make friends in middle, towards the end of middle school. I started to make friends the middle of high school. But even when I was with my group of people, when my group of friends interacted with other group of friends, I was always the quiet one. I didn't, while other people were loud, they were conversational with the other kids in the other groups, I kind of just kept to myself. And that had a lot to do with me being picked on by the way I spoke. And it had a lot to do with me being self-conscious on how I spoke. So I didn't really say much. And when it was my turn to kind of interact with the group, I had these awkward pauses where I would say things and there would be this, this silence, this awkward silence. Like, did he really say that? Well, in my head, I, I thought it was an awkward silence. And sometimes people would say, Shlomo, why, why are you so awkward? I had that for the longest time. And when I was going into college, I wanted to phase out of it, which is why I started to join. I joined a fraternity. When I first joined a fraternity, I was going to these different events. It was the most amount of it. It was the most exposure I had to interacting with people. And I felt super, super uncomfortable. There was people I was interacting with meeting them five, six times, don't remembering their name, not remembering their faces. And I would ask my fraternity brothers, some of my close ones, how do I talk to people? How do I interact with these different people I meet with? And they would tell me, Shlomo, just be yourself. Just ask some questions. Be comfortable. Don't, don't try to think too much of it. And that's where I started. I started to asking people and asking some of the other people questions and questions about themselves and, and what their background is. And it was super uncomfortable at first. I was really trying to be someone else and I was really trying to quote unquote fit in with everyone else and be the social individual. My true socialness didn't come out until post-college. I, I think about a year and a half ago. And that's when I'm in the startup right now. I, ha- I had to get out there and make a name for the company and kind of represent the company and try to sell the product to other people. And I, f- I made a decision when I was going to these different events that I'm going to talk to everyone and I'm just not going to worry about what other people think of me. And that's what I did. Event after event after event, I went up to seven or eight events in one week sometime. I would go socialize with other people when I'm in line. I would socialize with people when I'm in the elevator. I would socialize with people when during lunch. I would socialize with people when I would go out of the state by myself. I would socialize with people at bars. Everywhere I went, I socialized with people. Uncomfortable at first, but I got used to it. It's not like when I was younger when I was shy. I always, when people who are shy and people who think they're awkward, the only reason they think they're awkward and shy is because they care too, they put the attention on themselves and not the other person. And I suggest there are three tips for any shy people or any kids that think they are awkward. First tip I have for people is take the attention off of yourself and put it on the other person. When you make conversations about other people, the conversation no longer becomes on how you're doing as an individual or how you're doing as a teenager when talking to different people. Now it becomes, hey, I have this cool person I'm talking to that has an interesting personality. Let me get to know them. And when you do that, you don't worry about what you're saying, how you're saying it if what you said was the correct thing to say. Now it just becomes very natural. Second tip I have is get yourself out there. You're not going to make friends if you sit by yourself. Go ahead, dare yourself to take your uh, tray table and sit with another group of friends. It's very scary. And the worst that can happen is they laugh at you 
which I guarantee you 75, 80% of the time, that's not going to happen. But if they do go on, move on to the next table and the next table until you find people that kids that you can relate to, start talking to other kids you see by, by themselves at the lunch table, start talking to teachers, start talking to faculty, start talking to other kids in the soccer field or in the sports field or extracurricular activities. Try to meet someone new at least once a week and then your confidence level will start going up with, with meeting people. And third tip I have for you is be yourself. We try to have this persona that we have to be like someone else in order to be popular, in order to fit in with other people, in order to fit in with other, other friends to make sure that their friends like them, quote unquote, but when you be yourself, you eliminate that pressure that you have to be someone in order to fit in. You eliminate that pressure. And when you eliminate that pressure, you start attracting other kids in your school and in your neighborhood that are just like you and like you for who you are as a person versus on who you're trying to become. I hope this was helpful and for any teenage kids that are shy, that are awkward, don't think too much of it. I was there one time when I hated talking to people, when I was in groups of people, people would always chime in, and I was the person that wouldn't say anything. And people would notice that, and people would say things like, Shlomo, why aren't you saying anything? And I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid what I said wasn't the correct thing to say. Do not think like that. Just be yourself. And it all starts in the mind. Once you take out thinking from conversations, you start being someone that everyone wants to know. And you too can be like that. I've overcame my struggles and I want you to overcome your shyness and awkwardness. Hope this helped. My next episode is going to be an interview with someone that immigrated from Bangladesh to America and how he overcame his shyness and became a confident individual. If you haven't done so, please go ahead, rate this, the Teenage Impact Podcast, comment on it. If you're watching this from Purpose Christian Impact YouTube channel, do the same thing. I want these episodes to rank higher so it can impact more teenage lives. Peace.